Well, the cold case unit of the Hamilton County District Attorney General's Office may have trouble with the case that reopened last September. Investigators got an indictment against William Frank Hawk and the 1981 death of Johnny Max Salyer. But News 12's Bill Mitchell tells us some of the strongest evidence apparently is missing. 61-year-old Billy Hawk was in Judge Don Poole's criminal court in the morning for his first preliminary hearing on a first-degree murder charge. The district attorney's cold case unit turned up evidence last September they say ties Hawk to the murder of Johnny Max Salyer 34 years ago. Salyer's body was found in a steel drum floating in the Tennessee River. If you don't give up and you keep looking, uh, you're, you're bound to find interesting things. But older cases have built-in problems for prosecutors. Hawk's attorneys at the morning appearance were quick to point out that the steel drum that held the body is missing. And so is a chest x-ray of the victim taken after Salyer's body was exhumed. That x-ray is said to show a bullet wound to the chest. This is a really old case. The state has had a long time to work on it. Uh, we're, we're being thrown into a pretty quick trial track, and we need the state to provide the evidence or explain why they're missing key pieces of evidence in this case. Speak and co-defense attorney Jim Logan say they're looking for evidence that did not change over the years. If we could find that barrel, it may be that there's evidence available which would exonerate our client. The prosecutor's office claims Hawk knew Salyer and in fact was awaiting trial in 1981 on a cocaine distribution charge with him. Judge Don Poole granted Hawk's request for the state to produce the x-ray and the barrel as evidence. So what happened to the missing evidence? Pinkston thinks the sheriff's department failed to preserve that evidence back in 1981. Witnesses that, that could testify to that are no longer with us. That, that, that's an inherently unique problem when you try to prosecute a case 35 years old. Hawk has been in jail since his September arrest. In Chattanooga, Bill Mitchell, News 12 Now. Now, Judge Don Poole set another pretrial hearing for February 22nd. That court appearance will set guidelines for evidence that can be used against Hawk. A jury trial is set for April 5th.